Hey allihopa, hello everybody. My name is Fredrik Andersson. I'm the Global Product Manager for Axis Body One Solutions. As such, I'm responsible for managing the portfolio of all the hardware and the software that are included in the Body One Solutions. And I'm Fredrik Johansson, the Global Sales Engineer dedicated exclusively to Body One Solutions. I'm helping the sales regions and sales engineer with Body One full time, now initially with the launch and moving forward with sales projects and trainings. In this video, we will talk and guide you through the first body-worn solution. And let's start by setting the canvas, a little bit of our background story. Axis is the leader in video surveillance. We have customers and partners all over the globe and in so many different areas. And from a growing number of these, we have heard, you should make body-worn cameras. Well, now we are. We are using our experience from video surveillance and we're making a body one camera solution that is a genuine Axis product. This body one camera will be a perfect fit for our existing customers that wants to expand their video surveillance systems to also include body one cameras. Moving into a new segment, we of course also hope to attract new customers. Most people today see a body one camera as a tool for police officers to record from where it happens. And that of course is true. There's already a big and a growing market for this. And a lot of studies shows that the body one camera ensures valuable evidence and that it has a very positive effect on people's behavior and bring down use of violence in the meeting between officer and public. At Axis, we are thinking big. And when designed properly, we see a much wider use of this kind of camera. Other areas within law enforcement had the same need, government agencies, prisons, etc. But also among other first responders, we see a big benefit in capturing evidence and also for recording and later reviewing training sessions. The deterrent effect that has been proven and the increased civility that people show when they know that they are being filmed will be beneficial in casinos, on buses and trains, in retail, in stadiums, public venues, healthcare, the, the list is endless. In addition, we at Axis think that we are only tapping into the possibilities. We think the usability of such a versatile, battery-driven, small and nimble camera are vast. And we are in it for the long run. The Body One solution has a very strong connection to the Axis vision of innovating for a smarter and safer world. And it goes hand in hand with our business strategy and with our core competences. You will recognize the Axis image quality, the build quality, the focus on our customers' use cases, and the ease of use. This being said, our R&D department have definitely had their share of headaches with this product. There are a great deal of new technology in here, and that is one of the reasons that this has not only been a tremendous amount of work to put this into market, but also making it so very, very exciting. Very exciting indeed. So the Axis Body Worn solution is comprised of a few different components, and we're going to have a look at all of them. But first, let's see how the data flows. When you've used the camera for a full shift and come back at the end of the day, you just put it in the docking station and you go home. The data will be seamlessly and automatically pushed from the camera via the docking station to the system controller. The system controller being IP-based can be very far away from the actual docking station, the data is then briefly stored at the system controller before being pushed to the content destination. And this could be a normal video management system, a cloud-based evidence management system, or really anyone who's integrated with our open API. All this is fully automatic and seamless and using high data transfer speeds with the built-in gigabyte switch in the system controller, you are going to be looking at your data in the VMS in no time. So here you can see the system in its most simple form, but it's really scalable and it could just as easily look like this or maybe like this, where each system controller can have up to 40 cameras connected. Keep in mind that this is still just one system we are looking at, pushing the data to the same content destination and being administered through the same Body Worn Manager. So what is the Body Worn Manager? Uh, the Body Worn Manager is where you log in to manage the system to assign cameras to users, change the camera settings, and direct where the data is going to end up, on which content destination. And managing a system with 2,000 cameras 
is just as easy as managing a system with only 20 cameras. It's still just one click in the same interface to update all the cameras and all the system controllers firmware. This ease of use extends to monitoring the health of the system, big or small, downloading logs, changing settings, even for multiple users and cameras at a time. All right, so on to the system controller, which hosts the Body One Manager. Being the core of the solution, the system controller automatically handles the connection to the cameras and the offloading of the data. It has a 480 gigabyte SSD to temporarily store the data during offload. And this is a great buffer should your connection to your VMS or EMS go down. You can still continue to use your system. And for most parts, this is at least up to 24 hours. Of course, depending on how much you fill. The data is stored on the system controller until the connection is up and running again, and then the data is seamlessly offloaded. The system controller, like the camera's internal memory, is at all times encrypted using AES-256. This, along with secure TLS data transfer, as well as a whole suite of security features, ensure that we have a really secure system that is best in class when it comes to cybersecurity. Being designed with thorough cybersecurity demands from the beginning, this was really important for us. Having the intelligence in a separate box is also a really great design choice when it comes to scalability. Would you instead have all the intelligence and offloading capabilities in the docking station, you would pay for quite a lot of extra CPU power when you buy 10 additional cameras with docking stations to upscale the system. Now you just add the relatively cheaper docking stations, which are more passive and only handle the offloading and charging, while the system controller takes care of everything else. Looking at the camera, we have a 1080 or 720p resolution at 30 FPS. Along with a pre-buffer of up to 90 seconds, dual microphones for noise suppression, and a great battery life. It has all the modern features you would expect from a modern body-worn camera today. But I'm not going to go through all the features one by one. You can check those in the data sheet. But one thing I really want to point out is the exceptional battery life. Having a 12-hour battery life, we make sure that the camera is going to support you on the entire shift. And depending on the configuration, you could extend that with an additional few hours should you need to. We use a licensed mounting called ClickFast. It's already out on the market and being widely used for attachments such as body-worn cameras, radios, and accessories. Being really sturdy and steadfast mounts, we offer four different varieties that can accommodate most different mounting needs. There really is a lot to choose from, like this sewn-in mount. As you can see, it's a third-party sewn-in mount, and uh, he looks great. It fits right into the jacket. And should you somehow, despite the high-quality mounts we offer, happen to lose your camera, you can rest assured that no data can be accessed. Like mentioned before, the camera is encrypted and secure, and can only be connected to your specific system being tied with certificates. Alongside the cybersecurity, we have a chain of evidence and traceability at all times. You can track the clip's progress and whereabouts from the system controller while it's uploading. And you can always read from the metadata exactly where, when, and who filmed the specific clip. And if you're out in the field and caught an interesting video that you want to double check right away or tag as important for later, you can easily do so using the Axis Body Worn Assistant, which is the app you can run on your phone. Besides viewing, you can add comments and notes that will later show up for that clip in the content destination. Even here with the app, we emphasize security and traceability. The data is only streamed to the screen via a wireless connection, and nothing is being stored on the phone's cache for later access. And we have an overlay to show who is watching it to deter from unauthorized capture with another camera of a clip. While it might seem like there are some components that need to be understood here, I really want to stress the fact that this system is very easy to use and easy to set up. If you've tried it already, you know what I'm talking about. I've done full installations in less than 30 minutes, and that's including the setup in the VMS. And with us supporting Milestone, Genetech, and Axis Camera Station from launch, you just plug it into your existing infrastructure, almost like you're used to with any other Axis camera. And to round off the technology and systems part here, we'd like to bring up a few common questions that we get quite often when showcasing the Axis Body One system. So number one, does the Body One solution come with cellular connectivity? Can we wirelessly stream the video? Well, no. 
Uh, currently, the body-worn system does not have cellular connectivity. Um, but we are looking into this for future roadmaps. Um, but the Axis body-worn camera does have built-in support for 802.11 wireless connectivity, currently used for connecting with the body-worn assistant. Uh, but it's not currently designed for live streaming. But for the future, it could be used for integration with the streaming service. So number two then, what about the licenses? What about VMS licenses? Do I need those? Well, generally, yes. Um, the Axis Body Worn solution is an open solution, allowing anyone to integrate. Um, but, and they will be able to determine their own licensing structure. But there is no license whatsoever for the general Body Worn system from us. At launch, Axis Camera Station will use a normal core license or a universal license. And Genetech and Milestone will use something very similar to, the, to their normal licensing. So question number three, um, what happens if I undock the camera while it's being transferring video data or doing a firmware update? Yeah, so that's a really cool uh, feature here uh, that nothing happens. It's a really robust system, not only in hardware, but also in software. You can undock the camera at any time while, as you said, charging, offloading, or even being firmware updated. So it will still work. You can use it in your normal shift and carry on filming. And then the next time you dock it, it will continue to offload the last mm -hmm. clips, uh, finalize the firmware update, or whatever it needed to be done. But it will work for sure. Talking about the quality, let's have a look at some clips of the camera being put to real hard use. As you will see, some of these clips are more personal and not so official, but it still shows what the camera can withstand in a nice way. At Axis, we always test our products very thoroughly. And going into Bodyworn, it was important to maintain the high quality of the testing. So we had to develop new test setups and fixtures, as well as acquire completely new test machines. Because when you think about it, the difference between a normal fixed camera and a Bodyworn camera is quite big. The fixed camera is installed once by a professional, while the Bodyworn camera is used every day, more like a tool and it will not be handled with the same care as you would take with your new digital camera or cell phone. So we really had to think of a lot of things when it came to testing. Long-term abrasion testing, tumble testing, and applied force testing is just a few of the test methods we put the camera through. And it's not just once or twice. For the applied force testing, where you push a weight down on the camera to try to break it, we repeat that 100 times to really make sure it's a pass. Likewise, for the mechanical durability tests, some buttons are pushed an incredible 100,000 times, and the charging connectors are docked and undocked 10,000 times. So really the full expected life cycle of the product, and then some. And you can understand why it's important when it comes to real situations with critical evidence. It's important that the camera can deliver and really show what is happening and we really make sure that it can. Another important step to make sure a new solution is launch ready is to test it in the real world. And we have done a lot of that. Several months before launch, we put the system out there with real demanding customers. And we have been running it out in the field since then, upgrading the firmware and the hardware as we go on. This heavy focus on field tests and pilots has been invaluable for us. And we will, were able to bring back technical feedback to R&D and perfect the system. Despite our fantastic quality assurance department in Lund, some things you can really only test for and find in the field. We also have dedicated body-worn champions in each business area and in tech support around the globe already. The system is also present at 13 Axis experience centers, like the one I'm standing in, giving our body-worn champions and sales engineers some early hands-on to understand the system before we launch. So we are going to have a look at a few of the most interesting off-site customer installations that we have been running for the past years, and what we've learned and seen in those places, starting with a major European airport. 
they had tried out a competitor before, and that didn't really work out. The competitor claimed that their product integrated into their VMS while not fully delivering. Being an airport with very high security demands, they needed a product to fulfill and stay true to the datasheet. And working with Axis, that's what they get. The airport has over 6,000 camera channels. And when they add products like body warrant, they need that to feed into their existing infrastructure and VMS. It's not really a possibility for them to set up a new proprietary system just for body warrant cameras. As our integration was already done with their VMS of choice, this was very simple. And the airport's own technical staff had no trouble whatsoever in getting the system up and running. A key takeaway here is really the unified solution. That's what they needed, and that's what they got. Moving over to a totally different end customer, Nobina and Bus Line 35 in the south of Sweden. Nobina is a company that runs a lot of the Swedish buses and trains, with over 400 bus depots in Scandinavia. Unfortunately, some of the bus drivers face very harsh work environments, with threats, rowdy passengers, and even violence. In one of the tougher neighborhoods, we have been testing body-worn cameras on bus drivers for a few months, with very good initial results. We've seen improved driver safety and a deterrent effect for unwanted passenger behavior. This really shows that body-worn has a great use case outside the traditional law enforcement markets, something we strongly believe and are pushing for. Furthermore, the Nobina installation is a bit more complex, as the drivers usually start the shift outside a city in a bus depot, but then end the shift several kilometers away in the city center's bus terminal. This could create some problems on where to dock and undock the camera, but since our body-worn solution is IP-based, this isn't really a problem, and the bus drivers can dock and undock on any of the stations without a problem, still offloading the data to the very same system using the company network. An interesting takeaway here is that some of the bus drivers were initially a bit skeptic to trying out the camera. They felt that this was to monitor them and their behavior. Apparently, some of the drivers like to take personal calls when working, something that isn't really allowed, but not at all why Nubina is deploying body-worn cameras. But when we told them about the audio mute function, that they could at any time mute the camera during personal calls or chats with passengers, as well as even turn off the camera completely, they quickly softened up and the pool of volunteers grew. This was a great insight for us. And with the correct understanding of the product, the wearer really becomes the biggest advocate of the solution. And the camera being very configurable, you can easily fulfill a lot of different use cases. If the customer would have wanted to monitor their employees, it would be possible to disable the audio mute function in the body one manager. And lastly, Let's look at a more traditional law enforcement customers. In both the Netherlands and Poland, we have been testing with police and community police officers to get their feedback and the impression of the system. Here, we have the obvious use case of capturing evidence and having an impartial witness to a situation that might spiral out of hand. But we also have the deterrent effect, and we are hearing from both countries that wearers do get more respect and there is lighter resistance from the public, even if the camera is off. We also learned that the right mount is very important, especially if you are going to be arresting bad guys and maybe doing some real wrestling. The camera must be securely tightened to your body, and you might be looking at a molly mount or a harness mount instead of the lighter and versatile clip mount, which uh, still looks great on the camera. And we've had great feedback from both sides on the camera's robustness and ruggedness. And that is, of course, very important in these cases. Furthermore, in the Netherlands, the police also runs a command central where they monitor the city's fixed surveillance cameras. And having our body-worn system plug right into the same VMS here was also, once again, a big plus. So to summarize, this is a well-tested and thoroughly developed product that has seen a lot of hours in the field already. And we feel confident in releasing it, especially with all the real customer testimonies now before launch. Frederick, could you tell us a bit more about how we're approaching the market and going into body work? Of course. Axis is building a brand new category around wearables and the body worn solution. But let's face it, body worn cameras may have been new to Axis, but they have been around uh, in the real world for quite some time. So I've been asked a couple of times, uh, actually more than a couple of times, going into this existing market with big players already there, how do you plan to beat them? 
with existing players being as strong as they actually are, going head to head with them would require quite some nerve. So our strategy is to reshape the game a little bit and with a slightly different approach, loosen up some of the limitations that virtually have become rigid rules on today's market. At Axis, we act as one with our partners and with our customers. And we believe that to be in it for the long run, you must put to market a product that is really designed with the customer's best in mind. Bodywarn being completely new to us, we acknowledge this and we took a research-driven design approach. We spent a lot of time and effort in understanding the customer. So together with an external industrial design firm, we made a large amount of interviews. We learned how the camera would be used. We explored what kind of clothes and uniforms the customer use to understand how the camera would be worn on the body. We asked what a normal workday looked like and what a not so normal workday looked like. We asked what they require body on camera to do, what pain points they have today, and also what they expect from an Axis branded body on camera. We have even invited some of our partners to review really early designs. And we have had several partners, as you heard before from Frederik, to use prototypes in the real world field tests to get feedback on usability and quality. And we are certain that our hardware can match what's already out there and then some. We have some technologies inside that we have only begun to use and we will continue to develop going forward. With that being said, we have also put a lot of time and effort into hiding all the tech to ensure that the camera is really simple to use, like to only give it a few large buttons and status indicators on the top that you can read and understand at the glance. And you can depend on the camera operating throughout your whole work shift, as Frederick said before. Axis is well known for its build quality in video surveillance equipment. All our devices comes with a three-year warranty and the body-worn products are no exception. Even though we understand and we know that these cameras will be used in ways that normal Axis cameras have not been used before. Even after very rough treatment, it will continue to record and provide good quality evidence. Axis do professional video surveillance equipment and image quality is important to us. That's why Axis Body One Cameras brings wide dynamic range to this market to give details also in those common but complex scenes where some areas are very dark and others are very bright. And we use our Sipstream technology to keep the bitstream down and to save storage. We have tuned the image pipeline to make every captured frame sharp and to store usable evidence also in dark environments. But Borderborn is not only about the hardware, this is a solution. And that's really where the game changer is coming into play. Instead of going by the rules and only provide storage and management of the recordings in a proprietary system, we offer a choice. At Axis, we're always open for solutions together with partners and together we find the best solution to fulfill the customer's needs. It may be an Axis on-premise video management system, but it may as well be a service-based evidence management solution from a partner. The Axis Body Worn system is open for integration. We have made an integration API that isn't limited to transferring video and audio. All the metadata or the recordings are made available. The camera user, the recording times, the method of activation, and any notes and tags that have been entered. This makes a partner solution just as vivid as an end-to-end -end solution from Axis. Administration and configuration of the system doesn't have to be integrated. The body world manager takes care of all that and makes sure that all from system status to one-click software upgrade of all devices is readily available at all times. So this means that we can truly provide a body one solution based on the choice of the customer. Today, the rules of the game says that you should sell direct. Axis does not believe that this is a sustainable business model, and we will continue to use our open channel model in which distributors and integrators are no longer left out of body one business. Through this network, 
all customers can have quick shipments and close relationship with their supplier, no matter where on the globe they are. And we truly open up for partners to join in, not only as a reseller, but also as a potential service provider. The Axis Body One system can be the base on which the partner build their own solution with software and with services. Part of the innovation with this product was to realize that we do not have to play the game in the same way as our competitors. As Axis, we can bring our decade-long experience, our expertise in video surveillance and our partner network into the Body One market and create a new scene where we will have the stronger hand. We have a solid foundation for our Body One ambitions, and I'm thrilled to finally launch the first generation of our, to our customers. I'm sure you will like it. And uh, that's it from us. If you have an interesting Body Warm sales project, or a pilot that you need help with, or any other Body Warm related question, really, don't hesitate to reach out. Mm -hmm.